terminal velocity is the maximum constant speed of an object that occurs when the object is moving through a fluid and there is no resultant force. When an object is moving through a fluid, there is a drag force due to the fluid. This drag force can increase when the speed of the object increases and the surface area of the object increases. Consider the terminal velocity of a skydiver. When a skydiver jumps out of airplane, they are initially at rest. Drag force is zero because their speed is zero. Only weight acts on them downward. And the resultant force is equal to their weight. So their initial acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. This causes their speed to increases from zero and the drag force also increases. As time passes, drag force acts upward to increase as speed increases. The resultant force is equal to their weight minus drag force, which acts downward to decrease. And their acceleration also decreases. As drag force increases until it equals their weight, this causes the resultant force is zero. And their acceleration also is zero. Since their speed is constant, this is called terminal velocity. When a parachute is opened, the large surface area increases the drag force to act upward. This causes the resultant force to be drag force minus their weight, which acts upward. So the skydiver decelerates. Since their speed decreases. As time is passes, the drag force acts upward to decrease as speed decreases. Since the resultant force acts upward to decrease. And their deceleration also decreases. As the drag force decreases until it equals their weight. The resultant force is zero. And their acceleration is also zero. Since their speed is constant again, this speed is called terminal velocity. The speed time graph of the skydiver's motion is shown on the screen. We know that the gradient of speed time graph is the acceleration. The initial gradient at point O is 9.8. Because the initial acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. Between O and A. The speed increases. The gradient decreases. Which means that the acceleration also decreases. Between A and B. The speed is constant and this speed is called terminal velocity. The gradient of graph is zero. Which means that the acceleration is zero. The parachute is opened at point B. Because the large air resistance causes the speed to decreases rapidly. Between B and C. The speed decreases. The gradient is negative which means that the parachutist decelerates. The steepness of the gradient decreases, so the deceleration also decreases. Between C and D. The speed is constant, which is terminal velocity. The gradient is zero, which means that the acceleration is zero. The parachutist reaches the ground at point E. The speed time graph of free fall and terminal velocity. The speed time graph of a ball is moving in free fall to reach the ground, where a resistance is ignored. The graph is a straight line that passes through the origin. And the gradient is 9.8. Because only the force acting on the ball downward is weight. The resultant force is the weight. And constant acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared. The speed time graph of a ball is moving through air to reach ground at the same height, where a resistance effects to the motion reaches a terminal velocity as shown. The gradient of graph start at 9.8 meters per second squared. Because only the weight acts on the ball downward, so the resultant force is equal to the weight. As time passes, the gradient decreases, showing that the acceleration decreases. Because air resistance acts on the ball upward to increases as speed increases. The resultant force is the weight minus air resistance to decrease. The gradient reach zero, showing that the acceleration is zero and the ball reaches terminal velocity. 
when air resistance is equal to weight, the resultant force is zero. Therefore, it takes more time and less speed for the ball to hit the ground. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and leave a positive comment. Your support will help me to continue making videos and encourage me to create new content. Thank you.